Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey y'all, it's your girl Nelly D. And I have the one and only Drew with me. LOL, probably Drew. Recently changed it to LOL underscore probably Drew. So follow that one and for the time being. For the time being, for, for sure. Day. Absolutely. And we do have with us today Miss Nellie Drayton. Oh. Known as at Nellie Drayton on all social media platforms. So please, if you're going to watch this video, show her some love. Check in it. Get in there. Follow, like, subscribe, comment. Do all the things that you can do on all social medias. Do your part. On the book of faces. Okay. The chats of Snap. Well, you can say on my Facebook. On Twitter. On my Facebook. The grams of Insta. The okay. tubes of you. Get into that- it. Look, I, mean, I heard it from someone. Don't know where I got that from. I love that. But that's definitely something that I got from someone. I love that. Yeah. So we're so glad that you guys came to join us today. Hopefully that you've already subscribed. If not, go ahead and do that because mm-hmm. you're going to want to get notified for the things that we have. We have literally so much that we are planning and working on and some really fun topics Some really off podcast type things maybe um so definitely get with the wave now and don't get lost baby Ooh, get with the waves might make you seasick trying to get you a boat you want to want to ride this one Ooh. and without further ado <laughs> we're gonna get into the video this choreography that i'm doing tonight i'm like <laughs> yeah yeah chair like, choreography yeah Chair choreography. I don't know what is happening with me. It's the it's the casa. cup. It's the cup. It's the casa. We go. Yeah, it's the cup for sure. <laughs> All right. So first things first. The topic of the day is <laughs> oh um <laughs> whoops um so today we're gonna talk about being a creative soul with support. Mm. Whether that's relationships Mm -hmm. or friendships Mm. or family. Mm. Some about it. That's a touchy topic. Mm -hmm. But we definitely, we going to dive. We going to head first. Yeah. Dive into it. Oh, I was about to say, but I don't want to get copyrighted. Because you know, I was, shout out, Mr. Trey. Mr. Songs. Oh. Trey Songs. Oh. I'm about to. Oh, I'm a. Tremaine. <laughs> Woo! Who is he? Tremaine. I bet the neighbors know my name. Ooh. And they do. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I got thin walls. <laughs> <laughs> he got this drink in his cup. That's I, all I can Yeah. Eat. I decided it's I wanted drink. to get a little zesty on okay. the show today. So okay. Got some casa in the cup. Ooh, come on, Casa in casa the cup. Casa in the cup. Casa in the cup. Casa in the cup. Casa. I got some Casa in my cup. <laughs> Hashtag Casa in the cup. Oh, come on, hat. Why? What kind of synergy do we have going on today? I I'm know. loving it. I don't know. It's it's a chill but fun night. It. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, the vibes are vibing. It's definitely mm-hmm. it's giving the what's the you know how music plays and you see the. Mm-hmm. That's what it's giving. Whatever mm. that's called. If you know what it's called, put it in the comment section. Teach us so that we can teach each other. Please, honey, I need security. Um, so our yeah. topic today. So well, you know, I gotta have my moment. You know, I gotta do my interview. Oh. Gotta ask my questions. So my first question oh, for you is: So we're talking about support and how creative people need support, or or um crave support from maybe family members, um, significant others, whomever, that person that fits that category. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, what does that support look like? Or when you're seeking support from someone that you hold near and dear to your heart, um, when it comes to your creative ventures, what are you expecting from them? Well, unfortunately, I've learned the hard way to not expect anything Mm. but in the past i was expecting um just people to share 
what I'm doing. Um, just mention my name in the room. Yeah. Things that's going to elevate not only um, things that's going to elevate my clientele. Mm-hmm. I uh, elevate my networking and my bag. Yeah. I have a whole kid. I'm not doing anything for free, obviously. Right. But with passion, sometimes there are things that are done for free. So overall, yeah. to answer your question, mm-hmm. sharing, speaking my name out there, and passing the bag. So you want someone to be like, Ayo, like this is my my person. This is what they're doing right now. They got all these projects. Blah, 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 blah. Like you want someone to really just kind of like, you know, that Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith moment where he likes on the red carpet and he's like... And Basically. she's there, and she's, yeah, that's what you want. You want your Will Smith. Maybe and, not yeah. the current Will Smith who's slapping folks, but. Well, hold on, because I was, I just oh, put this on. Oh, she said, just kidding. No, I do. I do. Yeah. I do. Because. I'm Jada. I need my Will. No, for real. I actually, <laughs> no, I have high respect, regardless of whatever. Mm-hmm. I have high respect for Will Smith, because one, he's been doing it for a very long time. And he's, he's doing it for people like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just one of those people who kind of like. I don't want to say sell their soul, but he's doing he 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 is doing things where it creates spaces for people who look like us to enter those spaces yeah. and have an opportunity to, you know, be one of those people who rise to the top like Will Smith. I mean, yeah. that show, you know, Prince of um, Bel-Air, Fresh Prince, mm-hmm. Prince of Bel-Air mm-hmm. was unlike anything at that time. You know, you had the Cosby show and you had, you know, the other shows, but this show was like modern at that time. It was tackling issues in a way that was like sentimental to households like that look like us, um, but also bringing like a twist of humor and talent. Those all all those actors and actresses in that show were very talented so much to where now they've passed the torch to a younger generation to continue the legacy of an all black cast doing what you know a lot of people who want this cannot do yeah absolutely yeah so shout out will smith shout Ooh. out to will smith i was listening and i put this on my twitter mm-hmm. i i don't know why i don't know when sometime at work mm-hmm. i looked up um the men in black song look which one is that? The song where he's rapping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see you just bounce with me. You just oh, bounce yeah. with me. I was like, I, my eyes got watered. No, Loki, he's like a rapper. I was like, yes. Yeah. I love the song Switch by um, Will Smith and Elephant Man. That song goes hard, too. I don't too. think I've heard that. I'm going to get you. Yeah, you're going to. Look, the dynamic when it comes to the music, you are the rap girly. I'm the R&B girly, okay? I love my R&B. I love my, like, slow jams, my smooth jams, my mm-hmm. 90s, my early 2000s. You're the rap girl, okay? Absolutely. I, don't, I know the names of these rap people, but I'm, I'm on the internet looking at what kind of beef they have. And I don't really give a damn about the music as far as the rap. I can't <laughs> keep up the with beef. them. I don't get good memory. I can't memorize the lyrics. Listen, I'm not good at that. I, but when it yeah. comes to the girls who be on that microphone singing, and, ooh. Honey, just gives me. Mm, oh, what was? I already thing. forgot the song. It's probably a good thing. I don't want to bring it back up. Oh no, by, no, no, let's not even do it. I'm not That's, even gonna. Because we almost had a whole choir moment, girl. <laughs> before the mics got hot, we was in here hot. Yeah, before the mics got hot. Ooh, security. Ring the alarm. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> See, I just I have lyrics for everything, but I when I listened to that song, I downloaded it on my phone, and it's um, the Men in Black song. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I listened to it probably about 50 times that, for, uh, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, mm-hmm. but it was, I don't know. It's just something about the it song. Like I yeah. was like, bro, this is what I grew up on. Mm-hmm. The creativity in the song, the lyrics, the fact that Will Smith was an actor. He's a rapper. He's a father. He's a wife. He is he's himself. A he, he's a hustler. He's, he's a hustler. in his bag. He's in his bag. I, and I That's love to see that. That's why when everybody was canceling Will, oh, he's smack. He's smack. I was like, you know what? Let's go through your phone. Sorry. Too far. Ooh, too no, far. no. Because you know what? Too far. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to move on from it because I can have a whole tangent about it. It's mm. this cancel culture situation. 
I'm like split down the middle. I get it, and I'm I'm down for it. Holding mm-hmm. these people who kind of like are a little bit detached from reality accountable for the shit that they do. But this like whole going back to people's past and like seeing things that they've done when they were also children or like young immature people, mm-hmm. and they didn't think that the whole world was gonna be broadcasting this mistake or whatever. I'm not with that shit. And that obviously has nothing to do with Will Smith, but the cancel culture of, like, a moment that just happened to be captured on camera. I mean, he was defending his wife. You folks want to get on here talking about all these, you know, uh, a man should do this and a woman should do this and da-da-da-da-da. I'm like, well, he was playing into that. He was defending his woman. And now y'all have the nerve to say, well, that was inappropriate. Well, but that's the culture that you, for some reason, want us to live in. So he was just doing what everyone else doesn't do but talks about doing. Okay, he said, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And I I was like, who is even, I don't even, he's married? I don't even know who that, I I kept his wife's name out my motherfucking mouth. And you know what? (laughs) I Overall, (laughs) I mean, I'm half and half. Like, half of me is like, ooh, why'd you do that? Then the other half is like, I don't care. It's not going to pay my bills. It's not going to get me closer to my goals, Mm. my dreams, my everything I'm trying to. It's not going to. That's why I don't even like. And I think that's why I'm such an outgoing, positive person. Because Mm -hmm. I don't feel the need to speak on the negativity of other people. Like, what they've done, how they reacted because it's almost like you have to remember people do things to get a reaction out of you, especially mm-hmm. people that are bored, they're jealous of you, da 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 yeah. When you're a creative individual, people are always looking for you to mess up anyway. Mm-hmm. So why am I going to add to the fire by right. speaking on something that I don't know nothing? I don't know the conversations they had before that. Right. I don't know the text messages. I don't mm-hmm. know the phone calls. I don't know the emails. And to be honest, and if you're having any kind of conversation about someone who is is a celebrity, you you are only getting like a quarter Literally. of the situation. You don't know Literally. what you really have no idea what these people are doing in their homes. Nope. What these people are doing outside of the shows that you're watching or outside of the music videos that you're watching or the lyrics that you're listening to. Like you don't know these people. You really yeah. don't. And that's the thing about cancel culture that really frustrates me is because it, it, people are it's it's like it's your home girl that you're cutting ties with like well she done burned me a couple of times I'm done it's like but you don't even you and that person ain't never been in the same room together and you acting like you know their whole okay the whole spiel y'all got some uh, superiority complexes if you ask me but Ooh, that's a whole that's other a topic. whole nother that's a <laughs> can you see the books that's just. You know what? We just, we're going, again, Yeah. episodes are coming. Yeah. We're going to touch on a lot of different things that we mention mm-hmm. in previous episodes and mm-hmm. bring them to the forefront. Mm-hmm. That was messy. Yeah. That sorry. Was, that was very messy. Support. So we need some support. Can someone help us stay on track? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, send me your resume. Probably going to hire you if you're just creative all around. Facts. Just come through. Please present that application in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> comments below. below. I'm so weak. Support. Um, when I think of support as a creative, I think what I'm looking for is for someone to kind of like be as like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, tenacious as myself. Because um, when I think of me and like my creative energy. It's kind of like spurts. Like, I'll have a moment where I'm like, ooh, I'm really inspired. I'll go do something. And if it doesn't pan out the way that I want to, the inspiration kind of, like, fizzles. Or, like, it's kind of like, okay, the moment has passed or whatever. But I think that when you have people, like, in your corner, like your family or your friends. Thank God I have good friends that aren't like that. But some people do not. Um, they see those moments where you're fizzling, where it's like a spurt. And they're kind of like, this person is, they don't have what it takes. And it's like, but it's... it's everyone's creative everyone the way that they express these like really creative ideas it's not the same you know for some people they can really like dive into an idea and for some people you really gotta latch on to that moment that you have and do something with it produce something with it or it's gone and for me that's how it works like i've been i i love music i'm not a ghost extreme vocalist but i do think that i can carry it too and can um, 
and I've been trying to get into music for like not I'm not gonna say I've been trying to get into music because I haven't I've been trying to have my own like relationship with like producing music I've been trying it's really really difficult for me because um I just my knowledge of music isn't very large and so I feel like if I had a partner and I was really going to try and, like, get into my, my music bag or into that creative bag. I would need them to understand that it is not going to be, like, this thing that, like, kicks off. And then, like, woo, we're, like, it's not going to be that. Even if I was good at music, it would not be like that. And I need them to, like, be able to kind of ride the peaks and valleys with me. That's the kind of support that I need. Because I just, I don't know. It, it's just my my creative journey I know it is gonna, if it ever becomes like a thing that's really going to take off and go somewhere, like if I can start to see that, it's going to be like a journey. Yeah. And I need someone who's going to be able to like ride, ride the bumpy road with me. Otherwise, you're going to get bumped off the wagon. You got to go. You're going to get left. Ooh. I'm going to be like, real. bye. Without no regrets. Thank you so you much need for somebody coming. that has like that endurance. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that but, can withstand because like once upon a time, not mm-hmm. long ago. <laughs> Your boy was entering a model era. Like, I was getting into my modeling bag, and I even almost got signed by an agency. I, I got picked up by someone who was interested, who was starting to begin their own agency. Um, I'm not going to plug the, the name because it was a mess. Um, but I, I did get into talks with someone who was creating their own agency. Um, it just was a, create a lot of creative differences. Um, and... But... I was really, I was taking it seriously. Like, I, I really wanted to get into modeling. I, I mean, I'm 5'8". I'm not a typical model. But, you know, I thought I had potential. I, I wish that the people around me could see the potential that I saw in myself. Yeah. And just supported. Like, even if they didn't, just support. Just say, you got this, bitch. Mm. Oh, girl, you, you ate them up. Like, I just, I just need some support. I don't need yeah. you. I don't need you to believe this bigger picture that i believe in yeah just support what you see no for real seriously it's a thing because people people understand like the impact that they have on your life yeah and it's energy it's like you can't take it personal yeah but you can definitely feel some type of way if they have an idea of your why yeah like um it's kind of like, you know, how they say, like, I think we were saying in a, in a previous episode, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but we were saying something like, you know, if your friends, like, don't text you, or, like, if your friends, like, text you and invite you to a party, like, five minutes before, like, the whole thing was supposed to go down, they never were going to really invite you. Yeah. If you get it, an invite at the last yeah. minute, that's not a real invite. Yeah. It's kind of like a situation like that where you have to kind of gauge, like, if you read into it, of course, you can find a way to be like, this bitch ain't riding for me. But it's like, you know, you got to, like... It's circumstantial. I'm very thankful that the people that I have in my personal life support whatever I do. Mm-hmm. Like my homegirl, Caitlin. Shout out, Caitlin Daly. Shout out, Caitlin. My girl. I, I could tell that bitch that I want to be like, you know, I want to go race the dogs. You know how they be having the dogs jump through like the little hoops. Oh, and I could tell her I want to do that. I don't even have a dog. She'll be like, kill it, bitch. Like she is so... <laughs> Like I could, uh, I could tell her, like, Caitlin, I'm gonna become a professional skydiver, and she's like, "Oh my God, I was waiting for you to like have this moment." And it's like, I could tell her anything because she is just a down ass bitch. Because she's I think she just, she, yeah. I think she sees that like I have a lot of potential, and I think she's just waiting for me to like find something to like really like channel that energy in. Because she's gonna be like, "Bitch, I told you so." Like she's waiting for that "bitch, I told you so" moment. And I was like, "You right, girl. You've been riding." Since day one, that scared me. Security, no, for real, that scared me. I don't know why. It sounded like someone just walked in. Girl, security is off duty. Security is enjoying. Security's on that table. He's enjoying that too. <laughs> I'm glad you. Security's on that table. Security, sir. Security. Security. Right hand man, literally. Okay, literally. Maybe Ooh. left in this situation. Well, it looks like it's on the right of my camera. You all good, girl. Mm. Shoom shoom, everybody. I want to do my, but I can't do it in the chair. You remember the moment when we were, when we were in training and you always giggled because you, you know, I always say that she's like a shooter and I'd be like, "Oh my phone, oh, Jesus, the childish Gambino." <laughs> yes. 
when I think of when oh I think of God. Deli being like a shooter, I just see that's right. <laughs> Pose with it, leg extended fully. <laughs> you can see the. I wish y'all could see the bag. full like. But they they listen. If you're creative, you imagined it. You, no. you a tiki kiki a little bit, and then you hit that like button, and then you subscribe to our Spotify. Okay, oh, by the way, Ooh, plug it. We're on Spotify now. Oh, what? We've been waiting. It's been a journey. Um, I know I've had people tell me, like, what kind of podcast do you do where you only do it with video? And I was like, let me tell you something, okay? Tell them. Um, what's the name of your podcast? What's the What's the name of your podcast? Oh, because you don't have one? Mm. Oh, okay. So it's been a work in progress. Um, we've been trying to figure out, mainly Nelly. Nelly is kind of like the match of my mind, all this stuff. But Nelly's been trying to figure out exactly what direction needs to go for us. And we have decided... Spotify. Spotify. We're going to be on Spotify, y'all. Y'all going to hear our sexy voices. You're going to hear nothing but voices on Spotify. on Spotify. So for the Spotify listeners, when you tune into this episode, Cheers. welcome welcome this is going to be probably like the introduction video for you or introduction podcast i gotta really work on like my voice now now that i know that we're gonna legitimately be like just heard yeah so i gotta work on like articulating because my words be i mean it, it, it's definitely a learning experience for the sure country. It's we're like definitely Kentucky we're excited for that. it listen <laughs> you are perfect just the way you are all right now and you're only getting better okay now okay so boom all right with a sprinkle of mm. try me come on salt bay <laughs> Ooh, i mean I, he probably trade martin you know he in his bag Ooh, that's a messy situation that we could talk about but mm. but mm. but <laughs> with relation all, with crew, not even mm-hmm. i hate to keep going on about like intimate relationships because even though that's a thing that's a thought that everybody thinks about there's more to life than like a significant other there is i just want to put that out there i just think it's a good topic to touch base on because i think it's something that every single person regardless if they are in a a creative world or if they are in like an industry i think it's just something that everyone can come together and have an opinion on so don't apologize for that and and really people look for answers yeah. I've noticed that when I'm looking at posts um, that are encouraging, when are speaking positive things about what to look for if you're if you're looking or if you have an idea of what you want, ways to be open minded that you're yeah. not gonna you might not find exactly specifically to the T of what you're looking for, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I just mentioned that part of you know having a creative soul and having support. Mm-hmm. I would hope that it's not something, it's not as deep as, well, I have to be with someone mm. to continue to tap into that creative soul. Because mm-hmm. I used to be like that. I used to feel like I got to have somebody in my corner. I got to have like a guy that's going to like motivate me to keep going and da 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 da. And then as time progressed, I was like, he ain't even the one. It, it ain't even him. It's it like, I can do this him. by myself. Okay. What? You matter of fact, you kind of in the way a little bit. You kind of a distraction. That's a word. That's a word. Let me tell you something. I, with my creative journey, I feel when I am by myself, the creative freedom that I feel because I don't have to worry about. Is are they gonna get it? Are they gonna like it? Are they gonna judge? Are they gonna say you should have done that? I didn't mm-hmm. like that you posted it on Instagram. Like I don't like having that thought. Now, when it comes to relationships, I have had, like, a little bit of, like, a crisis in my life. Because I am, like, getting to a point in my life where I'm, like, I feel like, like, the moment is, like, coming. Where, like, the other shoe's going to drop and, like, something is just going to pop off. And, like, life is just going to kind of, like, finally fall into place the way it's supposed to fall into place, yep. you know? Like, I just get this feeling like it's coming. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I'm, like, okay, if I get into my bag now, I'm probably going to get it. I'm going to really get in my bag. I don't want to, and this is just me being vulnerable on the podcast, okay? I don't want to be like, you know, in my mid 40s, then now trying to like find someone to settle down with. Because, hot take, I don't know what our demographic is going to be, who's going to watch this or listen. I am a homosexual man. And uh, I can only speak for the area that I'm in, but the dating pool here is really shallow. It's got really piece, shallow it's got and in it. i'm just i'm like 
I feel like I'm like one of those like mid like I'm like a, a housewife who's like just got divorced and like I've, I've been with my man for like 20 years and like what am I gonna do now like I'm kind of like if I get into my bag what am I gonna do I can't like have a date and try to get in my bag not nah, babes and I honestly I don't even like if I'm really gonna like if I'm really gonna get into it like if I'm really gonna like put my head down and just like get into like work mm-hmm. I don't even want a relationship mm-hmm. I don't that's me it's a hurdle that you're gonna have to like jump or it's gonna like is that gonna be a hurdle or like a backpack Ooh. is kind of how I see it. you're either gonna have to jump over it you're gonna have to just bear that weight and carry it with you no I'm good I'm good on that. Mm-mm. I would love to be in love because you know I'm a romantic gentleman. I'm really romantic for those who want to slide my DMs. Ella boy underscore probably Drew. Um, <laughs> I'm a very romantic person. I do want a relationship. I don't know how m- more I can stress that on this damn show. Oh my God. I know. I'm, this is like low-key like a plug for like my... <laughs> Like, guys, go check out our podcast. I'm talking about how single I am. Like, <laughs> I'm listen. I'm here for it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna root for you every every step of the way. At this point, though, hey y'all, it's your girl Nelly D. So I'm in post production, and the rest of the episode has vanished. But the episode is on Spotify, and the audio is available. The full thing. So instead of being able to watch the rest of it here on YouTube, I'm just going to put a little uh, surprise. So here it is. What are the dollar you murder for? What are the dollar you murder for? What are the dollar you murder for? Is that the wolf fighting for your soul? Or your brothers the one that you're running from? But if you got money, fuck it, then I won't suck.